Yes, welcome back, you beautiful souls. We've got another special edition coming through. We've got a duo that you're going to definitely want to know about. Now, the world often comes to Cape Town to be entertained, right? But Cape Townians Angelo Pinazzo and Tracy Daniels decided to take their talents to the world as Intense International Duo. Yes, that's the name. And with Angelo on keys and backing vocals and Tracy on the lead vocals, they have traveled the world and provided entertainment to many internationals on various cruise liners. Now, they have been back in South Africa for almost two years and they're on the Expresso Studio again for the first time since 2015. So, without further ado, let's give Angela and Tracy a big feel-good welcome to the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? Awesome. Wonderful Fantastic. to be here. Yeah. Fantastic. It's good to have you. I mean, it's been a couple years since yes. you were last on the show. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. get straight into it. Obviously, we never have enough time yeah, to yeah. chat to the talent. But for those that don't know about the two of you, how did you guys formalize this duo, entice duo? How did it come about? Okay, uh, what happened was I was uh, looking for work abroad uh, back in 2014. Yeah. And then I saw Angelo's advert. There's like a page on Facebook musicians interested in overseas work. And then I said to him, hey, don't you think we should team up? And then just we hit it off from there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, it was wasn't even magic. a question. You were just like, yes, we yes. have Because I was looking for the same thing too. You know, okay. I was also looking to work abroad, uh, looking for the hotel scene, looking yeah. for the Middle East and then we had an offer for the for the East East China, and then she needed a musician, and she took me. And then from there we got the paperwork. It was a long journey, and yeah. then we never looked back. And I mean, what, what was the journey like? I mean, being able to perform firstly together, which is always great because you get to yeah. feed off each other. You've got yeah, that energy. You've got someone you can constantly bounce your work mm, off of. Yeah, yeah. But not only that, you're entertaining people all over the world. I mean, the cruise liners, the ships, and everything else. Yeah. That's a pretty awesome job. I mean, you're literally entertaining yeah. the world. What, what yeah, is yeah. that experience like for you? How was that growth for you guys and the journey and all? Oh, for, 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 for me personally, when you, when you travel on the cruise ships, you, as a musician, you need to really be flexible because you meet clients from different countries, different nationalities, so yeah. then you have to like really be versatile, play different genres, because the next moment you're in Miami, then you're playing salsa music, the next moment you're in East Asia, then it's a different style. So that teaches you that, that work ethic and, and um, the fact is also that you can, the key component is that you can actually network with other musicians and that's how yeah. you learn and you grow in that environment. Yeah. I suppose, it's a, you know, what a great opportunity to get forced to keep your skills yeah, yeah. alive yeah, and yeah, rife yeah, and yeah. stay relevant. At the yeah. same time, you get to hone on your craft constantly yeah, while you're doing this. Yeah. And you were doing this up until the dreaded COVID-19 yes. came yeah, through. Yeah, of course. And for a lot of us, it was a big slap in the face of reality yeah, yeah, in yeah. terms of what now. What did that result in for you guys? Because I would imagine entertainment kind of stopping, the, yeah, the yeah. industry kind of almost died in a sense and yeah, yeah. forced at bay. Did you guys have to return home or could you stay on the ships? Yes, uh, we returned home. We were fortunate to complete our contract uh, because we were in um, Australia and New Zealand okay. at the time. And then we uh, fortunately came back just in time. We came back in, at the end of February 2020 and we've oh, been wow. home ever since. But it's been fabulous. We really enjoyed being home, seeing family uh, uh, for almost two years now. But we also look back, looking back, forward to going back. Yeah, <laughs> I was, yeah, and, yeah, and I know yeah. a lot of people use the, use the opportunity as a, a, either a chance to just recover yes. and reflect, yeah, or yeah. some people were like, hey, this is an opportunity to get some work in, hustle, I've still got more energy. What was yes. the experience like for you guys? Obviously, lockdown causing this change. Yeah. Did it allow you to rekindle with the family and just have some downtime? Of or course. did it involve a little bit of sneaky work at the same time as well? Yeah, for me, it was a lot of downtime and also working on myself as an artist, mm. you know. Um, I was wanting to get back into writing music, like my own music again, because that's what I did back in 2012 okay. when I released an album. And I, I said to Angelo, perhaps we should think of, you know, recording our own album that would be kind of cool and releasing it through South Africa. You know, I yeah. like that, I like that. Well, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, of course, Entice Duo are here. They're about to be performing something special and entertaining us this Thursday. They're going to make it a clean Freitag for sure. Like, ladies and gentlemen, I can't, uh, I can't thank you enough, of course, for joining us this morning. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, I think you better get on to your thing because it's time to continue to entertain the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> See you guys later.